Hi folks, um, what I'm going to be doing today is converting an existing tool that I have, which is the Motive uh, European Power Bleeder, uh, which typically I'm using to bleed my brakes with. And what I'd like to do is make a conversion fitting so that I can now use my power bleeder as a power filler. Uh, and what I'm going to be doing then is uh, typically I'll use that power filler for a project like refilling a transmission where I don't have easy access to a dipstick. So recently I did a transmission CVT fill uh, on my Subaru Outback and it really became very cumbersome having to use a small bottle-ended hand pump to pump the fluid in. So uh, what we're going to be needing today, uh, I'm going to go through the materials. Uh, first is a, uh, a single ball valve, quarter inch. Uh, so this is what we have, and I bought, purchased this locally at um, a Home Depot store. Okay. In addition, you're going to need three 3 8 inch dia uh, inner diameter by quarter inch barb hose fittings. One, two, three. And then thirdly, you're going to need a section of 3 8 inch clear tubing. Actually, I'm sorry, it's 3 8 inch inner diameter, half inch outer diameter. Okay, same thing, also available at your local hardware store. So now I'll take you through the short process of what we intend on doing to convert our power bleeder into a power filler. The existing bleeder comes as such with a length of hose, okay, uh, and this is typically what would go on top of your master cylinder uh, where you'd begin pumping the fluid in to, in order to bleed your brakes, okay. At this fitting here, I've already loosened it, but what we're going to be doing is disconnecting this fitting here. Simply use a wrench of your choice, a crescent wrench or a size, and you're just going to loosen this fitting. Once that's loosened, the idea that we're going to be doing now is we are going to take the bar bend hose fitting. This side will thread into the opening, or I'm sorry, the connector. And from this barbed end, I'm just going to loosely put things together right now. You'll get the idea. Okay, from this barbed end, we'll have our section of hose. You can cut a small section of hose here. We'll use, now use another barbed fitting. Okay. And we will connect that here. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to attach our valve. And this will allow us to be able to control the flow of the fluid when we're using the filler. Okay, once again, I'm going to tighten these all up to complete the project, but this should give you a very good idea of the things you need and the process required to convert your power bleeder into a motive power filler. The total cost of the supplies of the fittings, including the tubing, uh, is somewhere in the range of about $20. A new power filler would cost uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of $85. Uh, so this will save you quite a bit of money and allow you to have basically one less tool in the house. Okay. Again, we make the final connection here. Properly clamp either sides. So if you'd like, uh, depending on the pressure that you have, usually I'll typically pump the pressure up to about 15 or 20 PSI or so. Um, so what you would do is you'd fill up your motive uh, bleeder bottle with uh, the type of fluid that you want, whether you're using uh, differential fluid or whether you're using transmission fluid. Close the valve off to the closed position. You would pump up to 15, 20 pounds PSI or so, and then you'd put this fitting, uh, the end of the hose, into the area where you'd have the fill hole and then you would open up your valve. You can hear the, the air just kind of oozing on out. Okay. Um, if you decide to get a little more creative and you wanted to kind of create a hook, uh, you could do that and maybe put this on the end of a stick or a wand or maybe an L fitting. Uh, you can do what you want to make this easier. Simply, my intent is uh, I'm only going to be using this to refill the transmission fluid on one of my cars. And this will make quick work of it. I can pour in the exact desired quantity, put this into the fill hole, and then open and close the valve uh, however I want in order to control the flow of the liquid. I hope this has helped you folks. Bye-bye.